Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk about a piece of, of literature from the New England Journal of Medicine about diabetes. As usual, it's uh, in this situation filled with a lot of dire warnings, but these are relatively new or at least something that we've talked about in the distant past and what it means to you in particular. It's March 3rd issue of the New England Journal of Medicine. And the publication's name is, uh, the title is, Diabetes Can Take Six Years Off Your Life by Increasing the Risk of Cardiovascular Disease and Cancer. This is something that I recall about 30 years ago, uh, maybe 40 now, within the framework of what I was doing at Henry Ford Hospital when we would find uh, that conferences that we put together would indicate certain things we didn't know we wanted to know. Based at that time, based on laboratory testing, we found out the cancer was quite high in people who had diabetes. So this is now getting a re-look in many situations from Great Britain where they have something that is really go going to be ongoing in terms of other reasons why people would die from diabetes from cardiovascular disease. So what they saw uh, in, in increasing amounts is more people were dying from kidney disease, liver disease, pneumonia, other infectious diseases, even intentional self-harm. So this was a real big problem. We've known this for a while and what we have worked on is trying to kill all the inflammatory markers off. That is a plaque 2, that is a CRP highly sensitive. And to date, I think we're being quite successful. We're going to mine the data out of this to figure out exactly how well we have done in terms of this. We won't be able to go back more than about a decade, but that'll be plenty. We'll get an idea because we've been treating people for two decades. So we'll see what we have here. Now, it's about 25.8 million people have diabetes. So those were people that were really involved in a lot of the studies that were done in England. But we have also looked carefully, and they did too for the first time, on prediabetes, which I refer to as the metabolic syndrome, which is one of the uh, certified things that happens to people before they frankly have diabetes. And many of you have heard us talk about how well we can do to reverse diabetes by virtue of getting rid of the pre-diabetes state in metabolic syndrome. It is still a hot thing to do. I th like it very much because 79 million Americans have probably a good chance of getting diabetes by virtue of the fact they have the metabolic syndrome now. So we're very pleased at what we've done about this, controlling the inflammation, using other things with uh, diabetes coalitions in various capacities, and the vitamin D use that we've used. We're going to look at all these things with our impending uh, information projects that we're coming up with today. But this is really your time to get better. And most people who have been in here lately and seen us talk about the fact that you can change all these risk factors and get to a place where you're only coming in every six months or once a year, this is something you know this is much better for you than you ever would have thought before. Diabetes is not as before. It's really approachable and controllable to a better extent than ever before.